Hey everybody. Um, so today we have um, uh, RTX 3080. This is a Strix uh, from Asus. Um, I got that one. It's not mine. I got that one from somebody who sent it to me. Um, they're having an issue with it. Um, it's been repaired by somebody else. Um, the memory temper temperatures are very good, but the core and die hotspot temperatures are pretty bad, which typically is going to be um, the pads used on the VRAM are too thick. Um, so I'm taking this opportunity to basically repair the card with, um, you know, this, uh, this set. Um, so th those are pre-cut, um, you know, pieces of pad, which would be just, you know, the direct size. Um, so, so let me show you what, what's in there. Um, so, so, so this is a set um, for um, a 3080 Strix. Um, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. I don't have to cut parts, which is going to save me a lot of time. So I'll put that on the side. Um, I'll show you the process to open the card. Um, I'm not very familiar with it, so we'll see um, how quickly this goes, but I think it's a pretty simple GPU. Um, so, so let's get started with it. Um, so keep in mind, this is a 3080, uh, not a 3090, but the process would be basically um, the same um, if you had a 3090. So we can take the bracket out. It's just like any other GPU. And those screws there, um, they have um, hexagonal shape. Um, so you need a bit, uh, it's not just a Phillips bit, uh, but it's pretty standard. You have basically three types of screws, so it should not be too difficult uh, to keep them sorted out. Um, if you only want to access the front of the PCB, um, you will not need to remove all the screws. If you just want to access the front, you need to remove the cross plus you know, these two, and then the, the cards can you know, be pulled apart. But one of the pieces of pad um, on the MOF set is um, below the shroud, so you need to access the back of the PCB to remove um, you know, and replace that part. So we're replacing everything, so this is why we're taking everything out. Um, and, and you'll see what I mean when, I, when we get to it. Be the last one, and because this one's been opened before, um, it should be pretty easy to separate it. But if it isn't, yeah, it's coming right, right apart. You, you need to just push it there. Um, there's a connector there um, in the back, so, so there's one there that you can access when you open it, and there's the other one there. Um, can just put them apart. Um, so this is it. Um, so now we can. So the part I was saying is below this rod. So we need to, we need to take that out. Um, so we can get rid of those pads already. They are pretty dried out, which is not unexpected. This one is going to be more mushy. Right, um, I'm not going to replace the paste. I think it still looks pretty good. Um, so we'll see when we get to it. Okay, so this, this is a back plate. Um, I, st I stated I put that aside. Um, you have a bunch of parts. So the added parts where um, you know the VRAM would be on the 3090. Um, this is pretty much unnecessary for 3080 or 3080 Ti. Um, all the rest should be the same. 
on the other one. So we will take care of clean up the, the back plate in a minute. Um, so here we're trying to take the shroud out. Right. So as you can see, th this is where the pad is. So let's clean that up and let's put everything back together. Um, so this is just isopropyl alcohol. Let's keep those. I don't have replacement for these ones. They're not going to hurt anything. Um, but let's take the rest apart. Yeah. That's terrible. So the person who repaired the card before apparently had to use multiple layers. Um, to achieve the desired thickness. Um, so hopefully this is going to be a lot more straightforward. So that's the back plate, um, clean enough. Um, so we'll put, that, put it aside for now. Let's bring back the PCB. Um, and let's get going. Um, so this one's going to go there.
one. Let's put the shroud back on. One more. All right, so it's back on. Let's take everything out. So that's going to be the VRAM on the front. So if you have a 30 80 Ti, you get two more modules, or a 30 90. That's covering everything. Um, Now we're going to have um, on this module it's one millimeter that's going to go there. Um, on this other one it's going to be two and a half. Um, and this component barely need any cooling. Um, and then we'll have uh, basically the same thing there. Um, that's going to go like that. And I'm missing one right there. Actually, that's going to be like that. This one's going to go there, at the 2.5 millimeter. And then for that one, you'll see we only need two small pieces. Um, you, you'll see in the back once we get there. Um, so, um, at this point, we may be better off um, starting from the back, so we can then put the back plate back on and then do the front. Um, that would be my recommendation. So we can put that aside, flip it around. And we can just transfer everything. Um, so this is good up. Let's see if we can clean it up a bit. enough. So uh, anyway, all those modules in the back, they barely eat. Most, most of the heat comes from, from the core itself and from the VRAM. Um, the rest in some of the other models are not even cooled. Um, so, you know, it's good to have something, but it's really not critical. Um, 
So let's go ahead and do that side. So you can press it in a little bit so it sticks. This one, those ones are really tiny. It's half a millimeter. I'm seeing this one's a half a millimeter, it's very thin. The last one is for the back, is two and a half, um, give or take. And same thing as the one on the other side, we can push it in so it stay there. Put the back plate back on. Like I said, the only screw that are holding, you know, the PCB back plate and eating together are the four screws from the bracket plus these two. So we can put everything else except the six, and um, we should be good still. Um, so. That's it. Um, now the bike plate is back on. We can lay it down flat on the table. We're not damaging or risking to damage anything. So now all we have left to do um, is put the pad on the front. Um, I like to do the VRAM typically last. So if anything happens, if I put my finger on it, you know, uh, that's the last thing I do. Um, so, so let's start with, you know, this one on those modules. Um, this one is one millimeter. So it's a pretty thin one. It doesn't really need to be that wide, but why not? One done, so we do the modules there. This one is thicker. Um, You, you may ask, you know, what, why is this one not covering everything? Um, it's okay. I, I mean, if you look on that side, this side is not even cooled. If you look at the NVIDIA 
FE Founder Edition. Um, they don't have any cooling solution for that. And the EVGA has actually put some thermal putty, um, which is uh, it or miss, to be honest. Um, so, you know, on that one, we put a pad there. Um, it's kind of unnecessary, uh, but it's included from other manufacturer, so might as well, you know, put something back in. So that's exactly the same um, coverage. Um, so we are done on that side. We have this one there, this one does not have one. So now we have the V1 to do, and then we can just close up. Um, so obviously, um, the thermal paste was replaced just a few days ago. So I'm not going to replace it, but um, if you do, make sure you clean it up before you put any pad. Um, you, you just need, you know, some alcohol or tissue, just rub it off. Um, just be a bit careful, but um, it's pretty straightforward. One piece. So what's what's nice with this nice with this piece? It's um, you know relatively generous coverage, um, so it's really easy to center it over the modules uh, without having to be like spot on. So that makes installing it pretty easy. So for the 3080, that piece is, you know, bigger than it really needs to be. But uh, because in you know the the set we are using, um, it, it's also doing the 3080 Ti, and in the 3080 Ti, uh, you will have all three modules there uh, being filled up. Um, so you know this way, uh, the same piece can be used on both models. One more to go, and we'll be done. There you go. So those uh, pieces, um, I think typically people use two millimeters, but those are 2.2 millimeters. Uh, because those pads are pretty soft, so this will compress nicely. Um, so this is one millimeter, this is two and a half, uh, this is 2.2, um, and in the back it was 0 0.5 and two and a half. Um, so so that, those are the different thicknesses uh, being used on that GPU. Um, so now all we have left is to put the heatsink back on. Um, I haven't cleaned it up, so I'll give it a quick wipe. So I'll just clean up where the VRAM modules go. I will not touch those paste. And then this metallic part where um, you know, the two stripes of pie pads will be touching. And you can see it's uh, pretty disgusting. All right, so before you close it, um, put back you know, the connector, that one, um, and then we'll put that one back as we put things back together. You have four pins that you basically need to center into those holes. If they are centered, then things go straight in. Um, so let's go do that. Flip it, you can see the four pin came through. Before we tighten up everything, let's try to put the connector back together. Okay, we got it. Back in, we can apply some pressure to make sure there's good contact before we put the screws. And now we have um, the bracket and two screws to put in, and we'll be done. All 
All right, that's one lost screw. Okay, we are back in focus and we lost the screw in the process. Um, so let's put the one we have left before we go chasing for the other one. There it is. And the bracket, you know it, you know. Start putting one corner in and then go around. So one and you can do the opposite one. Couple turn and then you go around. And the reason for that is if you tighten up one corner first or one side first, um, the thermal paste is going to be squeezed out from that end and you're going to end up with uh, pretty terrible or spot temperatures. Make sure everything is tight. Don't strip the screw though. And that's it. We have it. Um, RTX 3080 Asus Strix. Um, we opened it, we cleaned it up, we removed the pad, um, we looked at the back plate. Um, it's put back together. I'll put it on the test tree, get the temperatures, and include that um, in the comments. Um, so in initially, um, it was running. I think um, you know the core temperatures were close from 70 degrees with the hot spot over 80. Um, so we'll see, and, and the memory temperatures were um, 80 degrees. Um, so I'll, I'll try the comparison once. Um, you know, I've tested with just new pads. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.